Well, how do their chums? Design Captain Stephen today, chums. I have a No Man's Sky video for you. Yes, and this is about getting the glyph so you can portal travel and get all those hard beasties and the sort of things they drop, like eggs and milk. Anyhow, I have been going to mainly Corvax Systems, looking to see if the mission agent has an explorer's mission, and also looking to see if I can find a traveller here. So I'm doing two things at once while doing this. This was in episode two, where I was doing it live. So check out that video if you didn't see that. Anyhow, so he's given me a direction to his grave. I'm going to be flying down, hitting that up, and hopefully picking up the last of the glyphs. This should be 16 of 16. Heck yes, where is it? Let's lock this little kitty in, and let's fly on down and pick on up the grave. Okay. No, it's all the way over here. I don't want to fly back into the poxy station. Be careful of that one. Right, oh, awesome. It's locked in, and I see you down there through the power of Udderton. Here I am, and the grave. Hello there, grave marker dude. Cool. Looking at my grave, staring at many deaths. Okay, brilliant. Whoa, look at those weird tentacles that just lit up in the background. That was pretty darn cool. Just as I stared at 16 others. Just as I stared at myself through the static of forgotten horrors. We have forgiven you for what you did. Those cells that we have ended. Each time we have fell in battle. Each time we have died. I haven't died once in this exploration, so you're blaming somebody else, I think. These glyphs are, we, imp we impart. Through the portals, you will walk. Through them, you will die. Oh, great. Well, I'll stay out of there. Actually, no. We're going to be doing that. We're going to be going through portals quite a lot in this episode, Jumps. So be prepared to get ready to do screenshots, because I'm going to be showing you where to pick up all the rare beasties that you're going to need to get the eggs, to get the milk, and also to find your own pet beetle. The beetle is going to be the last one, though, people, inside of the actual video. I was lucky enough to find beetles during my actual jaunt. Anyhow, here is where you can find Diplos. So this is actually inside of the NMSA hub. So this is a planet that I found ages ago in my legacy safe. And I'm sharing it for you here, people. So here you go. Here's the actual portal code. And this is actually inside of the NMSA hub. So if you are to build a base here, make sure you build 3,000 years away from any of other established bases that's already there. Brilliant! So there we go. So you can get giant eggs off of these chappies. Hello there, Deplo. I would like one of your giant eggs, please. So I fed it, interacted with it. Giant eggs are mine. And I got two from that one Diplo. Now you need five of each egg. So yes, you are going to probably have to feed three of these little kidders, right? And yeah, if you want to make more bait sticks, you're probably best to do it inside the neutron processor because it's one to one instead of 60 carbon if you do it in your inventory space. Hello then, Diplo. Yes, I'd like one of your eggs. Thanking you. Lovely job. Into my pocket you go. Yes, another two. So yes, I do have to feed one more. But I think I'm about good. Let's go and check out my space. So there we go. Got giant eggs. Lovely job. Got my creature eggs. I'll show you where I got my creature eggs in the next section. Hercules, I will. Awesome. Right now, so this is where I got my giant eggs from. And guess what's also on this same planet? Striders. So you're going to get the tall eggs as well. So here you're going to get the giant, no, not giant eggs. You're going to get creature eggs and tall eggs in this one location. Eh? Awesome. So let's hit on up the code. Boom. Now this is something that I found ages ago when companions first dropped. I'm not sure if it's inside of my hub. But there are some really cool creatures on this planet, including bone cats. Yeah, I know, bone cats, right? Okay, cool. And I take to the air like a majestic butterfly viking. So important announcement time, people. So yeah, I did mention that I'd done two things at once. I got these portal glyphs at the same time as hitting up the Explorer missions inside of Corvax Systems. If you've already done the Corvax thing, and this seems a bit like hard work getting the glyphs, I have a video on how to get the glyphs super quick. Check out the actual link in the top right corner if you want to get the glyphs super, super fast, and it's going to help you with all this stuff. Important announcement, over. Frodo, so I've arrived located at the second location. You can see here there's quite a lot of comms balls already. Now, one of my favourite Triceratops creatures frequents this world. Yes, I did pet him. I did train him up. I called him Trico, but he was a freaking git. Now we've got more creature slots. I might go and get another one because it is such a glorious creature to behold. Anyhow, let's see if we can find him because he actually gives you creature eggs. He's freaking awesome. There's one. There's one on the hill. 
Hello there, my old Triceratops buddy, my friend. There you go, NMSA, Triceratops. Oh, it is in the NMSA hub. Lovely, Jubia, nice one, awesome. Let's head on over, let's feed this Triceratops, and I'll show you that you get creature eggs from it. The only thing with this planet is it does have a lot of sentinels, and they're freaking nasty, and it has a lot of storms, which are also freaking nasty. Brilliant, we've got ourselves some Triceratops eggs. I do love the rainer, folks. It really makes them glisten. One just got whipped in the face by a blinking whipping plant. Evil plant. Plant. Righto, so now I'm looking for the striders. Get out of my face, Sentinel. Fudge, damn it, the Sentinel is on me. He's on me. Freaking heck he is. And he's brought all of his mates as well. Brilliant. Okay, well, there's a lot of comms balls, so you might see a few messages pop up that are a bit odd. Sorry about those. Cool, yeah, but they are kind of smiling, juicing some of them, aren't they? Awesome, let's head on over this way. Oh, fudge and heck, they're taking pot shots at me, chums. They're taking pot shots, and I've hardly got any shields or any upgrades in this save, because I am just going to throw this save to the wind once this is done. However, there are a few things I want to transfer over to my actual legacy save, including a gnarly pet I found during this expedition, a little fluffy chappy. He's really cool. Anyway, I'll get to that in a future episode probably the end episode of this playlist in fact well here we go this is where you get your tall eggs from so here we go collect eggs brilliant so i just fed that and then interacted tall eggs i got three so yes i only need to feed two of these but catching up with the dang things with their lanky legs is pretty darn bloody hard now i know how my missus feels when we go on a little walk cool awesome right come on let's catch on up brilliant yeah she is kind of like half my height there we go brilliant and let's uh, interact with this chappy I am tall. I'm like six foot four. So yeah, I'm pretty tall. Anyway, there we go. We've got tall eggs. Times three. Excellent. Brilliant. We've got all of our eggs. Why hasn't the mission badge popped? I'm sure I've got all the eggs. Let me just go and check. So here we go. Where is it? So was it phase five? No, phase... It was before phase four. I'm surprised. There it is. Phase three. Boom. Best laid plans. And there you go. Brilliant. We've got the eggs. Brilliant. Awesome. So I think there's only the trust one to do, the trust badge. And I'm fairly sure that's going to happen as soon as my creature is ready to lay eggs, is what I'm thinking. Because that's when I pretty much got the creature, isn't it? So I think that's a timer. I've had people hit me up and say, Captain Steve, I was feeding mine and I got 100% trust, so I don't know what you're doing differently. Um, it's, it's, it's based on the timer. So I, unless you've played with your date and time, the soon as you're going to be able to do it is... 24 hours after you started the expedition, so I don't know how you've managed to do it any other way. Right, oh, awesome, excellent, we're done. So here we go, let's bring in my pet. So there he is, at 95% trust. You see the timer at the bottom, 12 minutes, 12 seconds. I think that's roughly how long I've got until his, the trust is going to be established. And we will check the timer. I'll be right back on that, because, yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Excellent. Anyway, let's take him for a ride, and we'll see if the trust goes up, because I've just petted him, and I've done this on every single planet because of people hitting me up and saying, oh, yeah, I've just been hitting up the trust. Yeah, I don't think so. Anyhow, there we go. I'm going to jump off my pet, and I'm going to go back through the portal and once we get through the portal i'm going to go up to my freighter and i'm going to get my egg because my egg in my freighter you can see there is also taking another 10 minutes so both these things are going to happen at the same time one of my eggs is going to be ready to hatch and also another egg is ready to gestate and i'm fairly sure that's when my trust level is going to hit 100 percent on the timer and just as a point of purchase, I think I might summon my pet in and point it over yonder so I'm not even interacting with it. And we'll see what actually happens, shall we? So brilliant. Lovely. Yeah, cool. So you can see that I've got 5 minutes 40 seconds left upon that timer now. So yeah, I'm just going to point him over there and we'll see, we'll see how he gets on. Anyway, gently pat him. We make those green wheels as far up as they possibly can. And uh, yeah, I'm fairly sure when I come back in about another five minutes and when we can pop this egg as well, I'm fairly sure it's just going to tip over and it's going to be all good. So here we go. Let's just uh, make sure he's happy. Make sure that he's green. See, there's another 30 seconds left. So if I point him over at that far hill, by the time he gets back, then I'm imagining it's just going to pop, isn't it? So there we go. Yeah, he's all green. He's all good. So let's point him over to that hill. Go on. On your way, my little friend. Go over there. So look, I'm not doing anything with him, you know, I'm not riding him, I'm not doing too much, I'm not going to pat him again, I'm not going to feed him again, I'm just going to send him away, then I'm going to call him back. And then hopefully that's going to be the 30 seconds over. In fact, I'll re-interact with him just to see what that time is on, shall we? So here we go. And, oh, it's, it's just tripped over as soon as I hit him. Okay, cool. There you go, there you go, there's the badge. There's the badge. The badge just sort of popped on its own. So there we go. I think the trust is linked to a 24-hour timer, and hopefully that video proves a point. 
I mean, yes, you might be able to monkey about with your times and get this done quicker. Or if you've run previous expeditions, you might be able to hatch an egg sooner, or you might be able to pop in a different creature that's already got a high level of trust. So yeah, but I wanted to do this as if I was running this expedition without running any others, just to get an idea of time of how long this expedition actually takes to complete a gate. Awesome. So now I can pop my upper egg. Boom. There we go. Now this actual whole expedition has taken me a total of about eight hours. So what you'll see on there is my end screen and you can see the 808. Yes, Oedo 808. Brilliant. Lovely. Yes, completed. Okay, did it in eight hours and eight minutes. But that was getting all of the glyphs to get all of these pets because I wasn't lucky enough to come across them all or these animals and get the actual byproducts, you know, the eggs and the milk through doing the normal run through the actual expedition. Perhaps because I was sort of steamrolling it through and not landing on every single planet. I'd like to hope that Hello Games has placed in some planets that do give you these creature placements during your normal cycle of play as long as you landed on every planet, but I can't say for sure whether that's a thing. So if you, like me, have gone through the whole thing and the only things that you need to actually unlock are a couple of eggs and a couple of items of milk and you need those portal codes. Now I'm going to be hitting up in one sec. Oh, listen to that majestic music. Doesn't that sound cool? So I'm hitting up one last portal code, people. As promised, this one is for the beetles. So yes, if you haven't got the beetle, you do need a beetle to get craw milk. Yes, you can milk a beetle and you're going to get craw milk. So as soon as you see a beetle, don't just go and pet it and say, oh, I'm having you as a pet. Uh, make sure you get the milk out of it first and then you can pet it and then you can have it as your own sort of creaturey pet and then fly it around and pop the other badges. But anyway, here's the code. Now, this is inside of Euclid. So, yeah, somebody threw me this code some time ago and I, I really enjoyed the actual planet itself. Great fun. So, yeah, it was actually found by a Miguel Figueroa, if I can, if, if that's how you pronounce it. Anyhow, I'm going to be jumping through this actual portal and showing you this beetle planet. Yeah, he found it for me, sent me over the code and said, there you go, Captain Steve. This planet looks just like it's out of the movie June. <laughs> Second important announcement people, if you've enjoyed this playlist or if any of these videos have helped you in this video series, please consider hitting that like and subscribe and the notification bell. I know you hear it from every single YouTuber, but I'm just giving you that reminder because yes, it'd be freaking awesome to have you along on the next journey and my next playlist that I do because I do videos like this all the time. Important announcement over. Right, oh, so this is that June type looking planet. So there's a lot of planets inside of game that sort of a cactus fleshy, but they are usually covered in quite a lot of sort of flora. Now this one has a limited amount of flora. It's not quite a June planet, but it's the closest I've seen. So yeah, if you do like the look of this planet, feel free to stick down a base. But yeah, there's quite a lot of comms balls here. There's a few other bases. If you are putting down a base, just keep it about 3000 years away from anybody else's. Yes, awesome. Be neighbors, but not overly neighborly. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay, I'm looking for a beetle. That was not a beetle, but this planet is freaking played with them. There's some. I can see some wings popping over yonder hill. There we go. We've got beetles. We've got beetles everywhere. Hello there, beetles. And they're black and white stripy humbug looking beetles. Like Beetlejuice the movie. Right, well, I fed that one and it's flown away. Wait, I need to milk you. <laughs> Come here, beetle. I want to squeeze your teats. Right, okay. <laughs> beetle teats. Right, let's go and squeeze. <laughs> oh, my days. Oh, let's put images in my head now. Okay, right. Well, we're going to go milk this beetle. Lovely. Okay, brilliant. That, I'm chuckling to myself, people. Right, here we are. Beetle, gently milk. Brilliant. Lovely, lovely milk. There you go. There's your craw milk. You can also milk butterflies. You know, the big ones with either tails or not tails. The big butterflies you can ride. Yeah, those majestically awesome ones. Anyhow, let's put on some fireworks. Let's end all this off with a freaking bang, literally. There we go. Excellent. I'm going to play some funky music and shoot up some fireworks for you people. I hope you enjoyed this playlist. I really do.
Right, so one more egg to hatch, and it contains our little robot droid. I never knew robot droids hatched out of eggs. But you know what? This expedition is going to be running all the way up to the 4th of April, so you've got some time to do it. But considering this took me eight hours to do, and I did four hours one day, four hours the next, it's one of these ones that you've got to be a bit careful of with limited time. I wouldn't be trying to hit this one up before April, really. You want to try and get all this done with inside of March, I would say. But yes, it's kind of nice that we're all going to be hatching open our eggs and having these little robot pets around Easter time, you know. Egg hatching, extraordinaire. But I love the way this thing runs. Look at that little animation. Loving it. It's freaking great. And you can do emotes from its back. So here you go. There you go, people. Until next time, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Heck yeah. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.